Hello everyone, this is Ron Williams with Web Builder Templates. Uh, today I'm going to uh, show you how to create a certain layout. I had someone reach out to me um, interested in a particular layout from a website and wanted to know if uh, it could be recreated in WB and um, after looking at it I was able to easily create it in WB. That's the great thing about the program um, and in the case I did it I used grids um, I'm hoping to do this video twice. I'm going to do one showing you how to do it with layout grids um, and then I may do another video quickly to show you how to do it with flex grids um, to give you a couple different options uh, depending on which one you want to use. Um, so let's take a look at the website. Um, the website was bare bones um, and it this was the layout off their website. Um, as you can see you have four items here and one big item on the right and as you scroll and change the width of the page you can see that everything scales at a certain point you will see that it flips the big image flips to the left and then the four are on the right and as it gets a little bit smaller at another break point eventually the big one shows at the top and if you scroll down the four small ones are below it and of course as you get smaller and smaller it scales down to mobile size so the idea was to recreate this particular layout in WB so the first thing that we need to look at is looking at this particular page we need to determine roughly when does the things change um, and flip and then we need to create our breakpoints in WB so after looking at this page going down at this point when it flips from what I would say the big picture on the right to the big picture on the left that's at about 1200 pixels and then at about 900 is when it flips to the vertical uh, stacked mode so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create this uh, from scratch so let's get started so the knowing that it, for our for all intents purposes for this video and in this demo knowing that the breakpoints at 1200 and 900 that's what I'm basically going to set up I'm going to go up here create my uh, default breakpoint I'm going to make it 1200 then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add breakpoints I'm going to add uh, the next one which I thought I had in here but it was 900 and then I'm going to add actually I take that back it was not 900 it's 990 sorry about that not 900 990 was the breakpoint in that demo and then I'm gonna add a smaller breakpoint for mobile and I typically go to 360 any lower than that I think you're you're really going too low because not many phones are 320 pixels anymore um, 360 is a pretty much a low standard for most phones and so I wouldn't go any any lower than that so here's our two breakpoints that we set up besides the default the 990 and the 360 alright so the first thing we're going to do is we need to create um, our basic grid so if we go back to the main site here and look at this the way it's set up you have to visualize kind of how this is set up in a grid. I look at the, the, about halfway, the left half of the screen, we have basically a two by two grid. And then this side over here is taking up the entire half and the whole, the whole height of it. So we need to create a grid. We're going to have a main grid. We're going to do nested grids to create this. And what we're going to do is the first grid is simply going to be one big grid with two columns these these four in one column and this big one is in the second column so let's go ahead and enter, insert our grid let's go to the properties I typically always like to use Flexbox um, I think based on what Pablo has said uh, it creates less code when it, cre uh, when it publishes than the default I also like to set my overflow to hidden gives me a little bit more control as far as breakpoint we're gonna leave it there for now we are gonna change that but we'll come back to that in just a moment uh, so we have our just two columns 
All right, we've got that all set up now. Now, what we have to do is in this left column, remember we had a two by two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and insert another grid. It's already set to two columns. What we're gonna do is also make this flex box. And then we're gonna go ahead and insert our images. Now, I've already created the images and what I would suggest for uniformity when it comes to these scaling as you can see these images are all exactly the same size and then this is probably the same size as these just larger you want everything to be the same size if you put different size images in here then they're not all going to scale at the same proportion and, and some are going to scale faster than the others and to me that doesn't look good so it'd be best to resize and make them all the same size so as you can see I've made all my images 300 by 300 so I'm gonna go ahead and enter in my first one here put that in the grid as you can see when I stick it in here it's set to full width which is what we want we want it true so that it scales and the maximum width is the 300 which is the regular size of my image alright let me go ahead and insert another image here I'm gonna insert this one and we'll stick it over there all right now to simply uh, now the the original had text below it here so just so that we can mimic that we're gonna go ahead and enter in our text and I'm just gonna type this in real quick and then we'll go ahead and center that and then we're going to go ahead and put this in here now what I want to do is I'm going to add a little bit of padding to the top of this and then I'm not so worried really about the text or the font so much we're just for now this is just uh, since we're making a demo I just want to put something in there so I'm going to go ahead and copy that put it under here and then we're going to go ahead and put another text here for the next row oops we'll go ahead and center that we'll make it uh, make that a little bit bigger alright we'll put that there we'll go ahead and copy that call this one the business man all right then we'll enter another text in here we'll go ahead and this will be <coughs> the money and we'll go ahead and just make it small again we'll stick it in there I'm gonna put a little bit of spacing between it and the title so I'll add a little top uh, maybe I'll just add 10 padding to it I go ahead and copy that all right so right now we've made our picture with our text below it which would be this right here all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this grid and we are going to grab it and we're gonna insert it into this first column of the main grid so go up here until you see it highlighted in that first grid and then drop it on in all right and what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing for this is the top row here so we need to do another set so let's go ahead I'm going to highlight this I'm going to copy and then I'm going to paste it all in here and then I'm going to go ahead and swap out my photos for some different photos to make it interesting here all right and then we go ahead and name we'll give this a name just to be different we'll call this the oops we'll call that the alchemist and then we'll call this 
Ladies Charm. Oops. All right. So now we've created our second row. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to also put this up into the first column underneath that other grid. As you can see there, we don't want that because that's going to put it inside that inner grid. We want it in the first column of that main grid. As you can see, we put it in there. Now it's underneath the first grid. Now we need a little bit of space in between the top and bottom grid. So the easiest way to do that is click on the first grid and just simply add some bottom padding. I'm going to go ahead and add 60. That'll give us some spacing between the top and the bottom. Now over here, we want our big picture. So let's go ahead and insert our image there. Now this one I made bigger. I made this one 800 pixels wide um, by 500. I'm going to go ahead and stick that in there like that. As you can see that it, the max width is 800 so that way it scales. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, add some text below that. Alright so let's go ahead and add our text. I'm going to call this Timekeepers. Go ahead and copy that, put that in here. We'll call this, we'll just say wrist watches. We're going to go ahead and make that a little extra big. I've got some text that I've already created. I'm just going to copy it to save time. And this is basically to emulate what we have over here. A little title, what it is, a little text below it, and it says shop now. So it's basically what I did here. So we have the basic layout here. Now, the one thing that we have to do, because remember, when we take this and we start to change the width of it, it flips. The big picture goes to the left. In order to do that, we want to use the order system of the grid. So think of this as the first half over here. We're looking at the big grid here, not, not these little grids inside. Okay. Let me get rid of this toolbox. So we're looking at the so if you look over here at our object manager, you can see that the this is the main layout grid. And then I have each of those two grids right here inside it. As you can see. So what we want to do is click on the big grid. This is the first column and second column. So in this layout right here, this is going to be in the first position, this is going to be in the second position. So in the order section here, we want to write in one for the first column, two. That tells the order how we want them, which is the normal order. Now this only works if you set this grid system to flexbox or CSS grid. It will not work in default mode so it has to be one of the other two. Alright, we're just going to hit OK. Now, what we want to do is let's go to the breakpoint. Alright, so everything kind of resizes as you can see inside here. But now what we want to do is we want this to flip. We want this side to go to the left and then these four to go to the right. So open up your grid again, and this time the column, the first column is actually, we want to say no, instead of in the first position, we want it to be in the second position, and we want this to be in the first position. So this order is basically you're telling that column what position it is. So in other words, we're telling column two, we want you to be in the first position, column one, we want you to be in two, we're flipping them. As you can see, when we do that, it flips it how we want and if we go back to our default view that's the original layout. Lastly let's go to our breakpoint as you can see everything is switched to column so what we need to do is a couple things first of all let's open up the main grid here layout grid one because that's what's controlling the columns alright so the breakpoint I always put the breakpoint one pixel less than where I want it. So this is at 480. I actually want it at 989. The minute it goes from 999 to 89, I want it to go to 
to column mode. So I'm going to put 989 in here for first of all. Now, if you notice, the four uh, smaller watches are on top. The big watch is on the bottom. But in our demo, when it goes to mobile, the big one goes to the top with the four below it. And you notice that the four are actually still two by two, not single. We're going to tackle that. Let's first get this watch, the big one, to the top. So open up your, your main layout grid, layout grid one. And again, we want the big watch, which is in column two, to be the first. And we want this to be second. So that's going to flip it. Right? So now we have the big wristwatch at the top and the two below it. Now, how do we go? If you go to this breakpoint, you can see they're two by two. How do we get keep these two by two? Well, click on the inner grids, this layout grid two and layout grid three. You want to change this breakpoint. If you if you want to keep it two columns horizontal at all times and never flip, change it to zero. That means it's never going to flip to vertical. See? And we will do the same thing for grid number two here. All right. And as you can see, now we have our two by two. Now, obviously, you're going to want to to use uh, responsive fonts here, you know, in, unless you want two lines. This one doesn't go to two lines. This one does. I'm particular about that. Either I want it to all be one line or all two lines. So you can play with your guttering. You could pay, play with your guttering here to minimize the space in between make it wider or skinnier. Um, you can also play with the gutter on the main grid. Don't forget that because you really have two gutters here. See, you have this one right here, which is the main grid gutter, and then the interior grids have gutter. So you can play with both of those to widen this and get it how you want it to look. Um, obviously, you probably want to make the, the text a little bit smaller by using responsive fonts. It will look better. Um, you have to play with that, but the overall is to get the layout. So now let's take a look at it. Let's go ahead and preview it. All right. So here's our watch. Very similar. Big watch on the right, the four on the left. As we start to make it smaller, at, when it gets to just under 1200, 1199, it should flip. It flips. And then as soon as we get to 900, or 990, excuse me, it flips, and now the big watch is on top and the two below, just like in our bare bones. So again, here's the bare bones original. Flips to the left, and then it goes to vertical with two by two below, and our demo is the same way. And that is it. Really what it comes down to is at this point as you mess with it is just tweaking the padding, tweaking the font sizes to try to make this look as good and clean on a mobile. But that is how simple it is to, to play with the grids and get them to change positions. So that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully you find this uh, informational. Um, I'm also going to show you how to do this with a flex grid if you're into flex grids um, and and get the same result so if you have any questions please feel free to leave me a comment and I uh, hope you find this uh, hope it helps you with your designs thanks design